Hello everyone. Today we're going to, I'm going to be demonstrating the skill of suctioning a patient. For this skill you will need a couple of different things. I'm going through your supplies, you will need a Ambu bag connected to 100% oxygen. So normally we would turn that up to about um, 10 liters per minute or more or greater. You will need a suction catheter that is connected, of course, to your suction canister. We want to make sure that you set that on continuous, um, usually medium. Um, in addition, you will also need a suction catheter tray. You will need a towel to place on your patient. You will also need a, an extra pair of sterile gloves. Good idea to always bring that with you when you are doing a sterile skill. You will want to bring with you a face mask for yourself. If your protocol calls for it, you will need a saline bullet, and we will get to that in just a minute. And you will also need a red bag um, for your dirty supplies. Okay. Um, and of course, before I start this skill, I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands, gather my supplies, and introduce myself to my patient and explain um, everything I need to to the patient about the skill. Um, you will also want to do a respiratory assessment on the patient um, and a couple of and looking for a couple of different things to indicate why a patient would need suctioning. Um, let us begin. All right. Take my light. For CPEs, you will just uh, verbalize that you will use a mask. I will not actually make you put it on because we want you to actually breathe for your skill. Okay, so I'll put my mask on. Okay, and before I start, I want to be able to hyperoxygenate my patient. I will have an SpO2 machine on him. washed my hands and I want to do this for about a minute. Okay. Another option that I have is to put the patient on a blow by which is another oxygen device um, to give him some oxygen or if he were on a ventilator I could hit hyperoxygenate on my patient on the ventilator for the setting um, to give him the appropriate breaths that he needs before I begin. Now I would have washed my hands again in between, taking off my old supply or old gloves, Get my new ones. Okay. Notice that I'm taking that out, keeping it sterile. I'm going to wrap this end in my uh, dominant hand leaving the end exposed. I'm going to get rid of these gloves because I'm not going to use them. Additionally, I'm going to go ahead and take out my sterile water, undo it, set it in there, and now I am ready to begin suctioning. I've hyperoxygenated my patient. Notice though, when I go ahead and I need to connect this end of my catheter to my um, suction catheter. When I do that, I'm going to be breaking sterility with this hand. Okay, so this hand becomes my unclean hand. This is my sterile hand. I'm going to go ahead and connect it. All right. Take my end, keeping the catheter taut, and I'm going to go ahead and test it to make sure that it's actually working. All right. I'm going to go ahead and go in for the first time. I want to go in five inches or until I meet resistance. And as I'm coming out, notice that I'm keeping my catheter taut so that I don't accidentally break sterile field. And I also want to make sure that I intermittently suction on the way out. I want to do this no more than 15 seconds at a time. Okay, and then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to clear my catheter and the secretions. Okay. Notice that I'm not touching the unsterile portion. 
With my unsterile hand, I'm going to go ahead and hyperoxygenate my patient again in between each suction cycle. And I want to give him a minimum of three breaths, or I can do this for up to a minute, um, depending on how your patient is doing. Okay. Unwind, relubricate, and go ahead and go in. No suction on the way in, five inches until I meet resistance. Okay, good. Wow. I'm going to clear my catheter, wrap it back up, and my assistant would, um, there we go, make sure that the uh, ambu bag stays. Okay. If your cath or if your protocol calls for it, at this particular point, you could use your saline bullet. You'd take your non-sterile hand, you'd break the top off, and at this point, you could put it down into the trach, um, and this helps loosen up the secretions. After you do this, or if your protocol calls for this, you would need to aerolize that to break up the secretions. So drop it in, and then you would give your patient a couple more breaths before you go in for the next suction cycle. After the um, second, you will go in for your last and final um, cycle. Go in. Again, five inches or until I meet resistance. Intermittent suction on the way out. Keeping my catheter taut. Okay, if it's the last time, you can clean it out if you want. If not, you're all done. You disconnect the catheter. Okay, depending on how your patient is doing, you can go ahead and hyperoxygenate him again. Just give him a, lack, a, a couple more breaths. You're done. Wrap your catheter up in your dirty gloves. Throw that out. Go ahead and clean up and then you are done. And just remember your documentation. You will also want to make sure that you do another respiratory assessment. And you want to make sure that you also put your patient back in a safe position. So again, bed down and make sure that he's comfortable and his call bell in reach. That ends suctioning.